Greetings my fellow wargamers. Today I'm going to show you what I got at Salute. I'm going to start from Drowned Death. That's the militia force. A couple of other things. Um, first we're going to look at the book. Drowned Death miniature game has some similarities with Infinity, I guess. Some people refer to some people refer to it as a lighter version of Infinity. So you got the rules. And the background. I'm probably going to review the game later in detail. I'll just do a quick flip through of the book. This character is called Kalahana. He's like elephant humanoid. And that's the map of that region. You took the peanuts out of this. So that's the characters you're getting. Forek. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Raniel. Hove. Juchita Kreitsk. <laughs> I'm probably butchering these names, but it's their fault, they're the ones who made them up. This is the Lizardman character. With a crossbow. And that's his leg. And he has a tail as well. This is the medic. <laughs> very nice, very detailed miniatures. A sniper dude. Oh, 
this is going to be so difficult to glue. Obviously, it'll have to be pinned. Yeah, so he arms goes here, and he holds, uh, and some like a machete or some or a knife, a long blade basically. Going on, is it goes on his back? Uh, I don't even know. I'll check later. Okay, this is the leader, Forak. He's basically like a midget version of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Really cool. And this is why I really wanted this box. And uh, here we've got a gorilla with a minigun. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Right, I also got this guy. That's Forek again, but this is his special version where he's inside a stompy robot. Yeah, a lot of parts here. <clears throat> That's his card. That's a Triceratops skull on top of it. So, we build it up. Like this, that's him, and uh, there's a canopy which goes uh, something like that. This look like a lot like a load up uh, robot from aliens. Uh, yeah, so that's his one arm. That's the other arm. Yeah, you see the resemblance? <laughs> yeah. Goes there. And also there's a Triceratops skull at the top of this vehicle and uh, that's his arm with the controlling levers. Yeah, awesome stuff. Um, I also got a character from my usual faction. <clears throat> this is Lacasque, and he's for the firm, because these are militia. These are bad guys, by the way. The firm, they're like organized crime, basically. He's got a sword on his back and uh, this weird sci-fi gun. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just happens to have this on my table as well. See, that's uh, the same species, like Saurians, I think they're called, they're like lizard people. I'm gonna do an awesome base for him as well. And uh, uh, that's another base I'm doing for a guy called uh, Papa Venk. Yeah, this is a work in progress. <clears throat> so that's Drowned Death. Um, I also got some Bushido miniatures. This is Asami for Gene Pirates. Single piece miniature. Don't need to stick anything anywhere. That's a card. Now, 
Kimi Kohoshi is for Minomoto clan, they're the back one, the latest faction they review, released by GCT Studios, but they're the one, guys who produce Bushido. The hair is really weird, and she has a tiny hand as well. It's like a snow witch of some sort. I like her, her kimono flows in the wind. Alright. And last, I got this guy now. This is for Silver Moon Trade Syndicate. <laughs> There's three cards here because you can get this guy on his own, this guy on his own, or you, or they can go sort of. You can glue them together. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how. <clears throat> That's not what I'm gonna do though. So this is like a big sumo bodyguard type person. And uh, this is like a little uh, crime boss. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if you want, you can stick this thing in here. And uh, it's sort of like um platform where this guy stands on. I don't like the idea, to be honest. I'm gonna use them separately. I might use this part for base of this guy, but yeah, I'm not gonna put them together. Okay, now these are for Guild Ball. It's a Blacksmith Guild, well, figures for Blacksmith Guild. And the two different ones, the miniatures, they are different. But that's a complete faction. So, have everything now. Um, so, here we got the miniatures. And uh, the cards are here. All the characters. Now, this is, this is weird, because normally uh, Guild Ball teams, they have um, one captain, four players, and a mascot. Now, blacksmiths don't have that, they just have masters and apprentices. Mm. I'm not sure what these are. Uh -huh. And there's also... But it will leave that uh, and templates and tokens. All right, let's have a look at the miniatures. Okay, this is a goal. Every of these new boxes comes with a goal, a unique ball. And also a unique piece of terrain. So, it's like smithy terrain. And that's the goal. Mm. That's the biggest mini in the set. Mm. 
needs a little bending. Now I'm probably gonna clip them off these bases and give them a scenic basis as usual, but I do that to all my miniatures. I don't like pre-assembled miniatures because painting them can be a hassle. Like it's gonna be hard to get into all these places sometimes, but it'll be easier if I take it off the base. Um, that's another master. Yeah, again, how I'm gonna get underneath the. <laughs> Some painters actually they do them fairly dark and then just uh, leave the hard to reach areas dark, so they don't paint them. But I don't normally do that. So it's gonna be difficult for me. Really nice figures, even though they're, this is a PVC plastic. I mean, they're on the same level as um, latest uh, uh, cool mini or not figures like uh, Rising Sun and. Now, I don't like these clear things. I will probably do some vegetation that which just touches his leg and. Yeah. Don't like this clear thingies, never use them. There's another one. Quickly chuck them here and look into different box. Now, this is a slightly earlier one. <laughs> they actually have several different language card sets. <laughs> Again. Counters, templates, these things. I'll find out what these are later. <laughs> Alright, now the cards. And the side thingy and the... I need to find the English ones. Uh, <laughs> not this one. So that's the that's the English. I'm gonna put the rest back. <sighs> I'll open this later. So that's the goal. Little awkward to get out the piece of terrain. Again, smithy. Nice bricks. I think that's one of the apprentices. You can usually tell. That's another apprentice. Huh. And another apprentice with a crossbow. Cool. Now this is one of the masters. And 
the last one. And another unique ball. <coughs> All right, I need to open these cards. Also, in the uh, Steamforged booth, they also gave me this. Oh, by the way, these figures, these sets, they were less than half price, because normally they're like 40-something pounds. And uh, I got these for 17 each only, so that's very good. Plus, I didn't realize they gave me the, this as well. And it's sort of like... I don't know, board game slash card game. So I got that's count as different guilds. And uh, tokens, these are like favors in the game. And <coughs> you play, a, you normally start the game with several cards and uh, you can play them. It's like a bluffing game. It's like several guilds are fighting to uh, sign up a star player and uh, there's lots of pulling in favors and backstabbing, you know, sort of intrigue type thing. Yeah, um, what else? Now, there were some more freebies as well. This is by Acheron Studio, uh, they're formerly known as uh, Prodos. Well, the Prodos is no more, but it's their successors. These are like science fiction vampires. Quite a nice miniature, actually. Every bit as good as GW, I'd say. Yeah, so basically you have to sort of listen to the like demo, little demo of the game for like 5-10 minutes. And then you have to fill a little form, which is like one page, and they would give you these. Now, for people with the advanced salute tickets, there was also a really nice figure of a sci-fi necromancer by the same people. A friend of mine got that. I didn't, unfortunately, because I had uh, um, a trader's pass. Uh, basically, because I paint miniatures for uh, West Wind Productions, uh, well, they sent me one of the armbands. So I didn't have to pay to get in, and I jumped the queue. Basically, came like an hour early and uh, just walk around where the place is still empty. <laughs> Lucky me. Um, and uh, <laughs> this is by... Mantic games. I think this is from the Hellboy game and uh, it was like a lucky dip You would stick your hand into a box without looking and this is what I got like a tentacles ripping through the floor <laughs> It's like a wooden floor mm. And um, I don't know if this is interesting to anyone, but uh, this is the brochure uh, This is uh, what the other thing I missed out on again, because I didn't have advanced ticket, is uh, this special 
edition. Post the theme this time was um, post-apocalyptic, so salute 2019 figure was this. Uh, don't like how they painted it though. This is last year's winners of the painting competition. I didn't take part. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I will see you soon.